Good morning guys, it's Friday once again and it is going to be a beautiful day. I'm, uh, I'm getting a little anxious that I cannot drive this. We had some really good uh, weather at the first of the week. Uh, this weekend is supposed to clear up again. So I'm hoping to get the Dynamat finished uh, installing in this car so I can get it back together and start driving it. A little bit sad, I can honestly say. So as we walk in this morning, we've got this uh, new to us, a 2012 Ford Escape. It's a limited model, and as you can see, it's got the park assist sensor. So this, uh, this sucker parks itself, and uh, we're going to have to set it up so we can show you how it works. If you've never seen it, it's, uh, it's actually pretty cool. So It is a, uh, fully loaded with leather and all the goodies inside, and fairly low mileage. But one of the things that I really wanted to update you guys on, the 36 Dodge project, we are getting ever so close to having this back on the road again. So as you can see, as far as the bodywork goes, the only thing it's missing are the running boards and the front fenders. And uh, one of the fenders is here, and I believe the other one is out in, the, uh, out in one of the storage bins. Before we can put the front fenders on, we have to get the car lined up. Probably the easiest way to do that is to do it with the fenders off. Obviously, you can see there's the adjustment. And once you get that fender on, that fender comes right up along the bottom of that hood. Ultimately, there's really no easy way to get up in there and do any alignment uh, that way with the fenders on it. So I think what we're going to do is now that the interior is complete, and I'll, give, I'll show you that here in just a sec. Now that the interior is complete, all that is left at this point is to get the fenders and the uh, running boards on. So once we get that, it is drivable. I've got a niece who is graduating high school this year, and she says she wants Grampy to take her to her graduation in this car. If that's the case, uh, this is now April the 27th, so May 27th, June the 20th. So he's got less than two months to get those fenders done and all of that so that he can use that. There's also a couple of car shows coming up this summer that I think that he wants to be able to get this car into. And now that we're at this stage in the game, we can, uh, we're kind of on the downhill spiral, so. I was gonna show you the back seats, but he's got them all tore apart. So maybe we'll save the update for another day. The only thing left on the interior, the only couple of things left on the interior, is the carpet. There's a little piece of uh, metal that goes up along the top of the windshield that holds the sun visors. And that's got to be painted and or covered, so this is it right here. So it basically fits up along, it fits up along the top of the windshield and uh, holds the sun visors in these three holes on each side. The carpet in it, get this piece in it and get a couple of kick panels made for down uh, along where your feet go and we should be good to go. So we're finally got caught up on a few vehicles that uh, we had sitting out back that weren't quite ready for the lot yet like this 09 GMC Sierra four wheel drive. We also got the 2016 Chevy Cruze all cleaned up and ready to roll. The 2014 Kia Rondo with uh, just 91,000 kilometers on it. That's a nice working vehicle right there. We've also got this uh, 2014 Nissan Rogue. Beautiful vehicle. And last but not least, the 2012 Ford Escape Limited. Now this sucker is loaded with every option you could get on one of these in 2012. Leather, sunroof, backup cameras, as well as park assist, which is what that little sensor is for right there. Parallel park. We still got the Ford F-150 out back that we're just putting some final touches on, the regular cab, the white one, and uh, it'll hit the lot uh, at the first of the week. Um, also, we've got 
the Kia Soul, the black Kia Soul. We will have uh, some time, hopefully, by the end of the week, next week, we're going to pull the motor uh, and start tearing apart the timing cover so we can see what's going on inside with the, uh, with the timing chain, why it's so loose. My guess is that the timing chain tensioner has failed and we've got to put a new uh, timing chain tensioner. Hopefully we didn't bend any valves. Uh, you know, that's the worst case scenario because those motors can be pretty expensive to replace. So, anyways, it's, uh, it's Friday, it's almost 5 o'clock and I am going to strike out of here early and uh, get some supper, so I'll see you in a bit. Good morning, guys. One of the things that I like to do when I wake up in the morning is log on to my live counter for YouTube channel and see if I've gained any new subscribers. So this morning, I logged on. Anyways, I thought that was pretty funny. I figured I'd share it with you guys. We're on our way to St. John today in the fog. We've got a 2014 Kia Soul to pick up at the Toyota dealer uh, that we bought at an online auction. So we've got some other running around to do while we're up there and uh, next time you'll see us we'll be there. So there's the beast and mama gets to drive it home. Again. Check and see if it tells you how much till empty. Ah, you're good. Yeah? Yeah. Don't stall it. Oh, you, is that what you're for? Oh, yeah. One for first gear. Well, So we've just picked up the Kia Soul and we are now heading back to St. Stephen so we can attend a birthday party for my stepmom. We got the Kia Soul home and we may or may not have driven this on expired tags. May or may not. The only complaint she had was no cruise, no cruise control. Hey guys, it's Saturday night and as I was sitting there editing this video, I realized that I had not closed it. So I'm going to do that now. I want to thank everybody for subscribing, liking my videos and commenting in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me reach over 100 subscribers and on to our next goal of a thousand.
I'm going to put some extra videos here if you want to continue watching Old Car Auto Guy. And again, remember to subscribe and tell all your friends about the channel. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next upload.